Uh, hi everyone. Uh, we're going to look at the morph transition again today. This is one of my favorite PowerPoint features, uh, but we're not really going to look at it in a typical morph transition style where objects go and look like they're merging into each other and stuff like that. Uh, at this point of time, the technique that we're going to explore is something much, much more subtle and uh, it actually shows a moving sky and it moves very softly and it's uh, it's like almost no movement at all but it's still a, there is a slight movement and let's actually go and see uh, what we're going to use as a backgrounds we have some real high resolution graphics here okay uh, they are really, really high resolution of uh, slides, uh, backgrounds, which are intended for using in the slides. Mm -hmm. And we have five of them here. And these are all placed in these five presentations that are part of the product. You really don't have to buy this product to play around with that. You can just learn the technique and use your own background graphics if you want. But we all conveniently put everything in a single product and provide to you. So let me go and open this particular presentation. I'm going to go to slide sort of view and you can see there are eight slides. And if I take slide number one and go to transition, this has got a fade transition and every other slide is actually got a morph transition. It's okay not to have the morph transition for the first slide because the transition is only going to happen between slides one and two. And that's why it's important that slide number two onwards you have the morph transition. Now let's go and double click and go and see every individual slide. Now we are on slide number one. I'm going to make zoom in, zoom out a little to make it smaller. And notice that this looks like a background, but this is not actually the slide background at all. Technically, this is not the background. Let me move this picture there so essentially you can see this is just a picture that's placed onto the background we put it right in the background so what we have done is we've probably right clicked it here and said send to back which I've already done so it's actually going to send something which is already back again back so let me now go and get the picture back to where it was and now let's go again and you can see now the same background has been made smaller and at this point of time it's larger again but notice this is a slide area you can see the placeholders and you can even see a small indication of the slide number down there and you'll notice that it's panning okay and then we go here and it goes and becomes smaller and yet smaller okay so let's actually go now and see the end result and then i will show you how exactly we achieved this so this is our slide number one. You can see the slide number in the bottom right. Move to the next slide and the morph and transition comes into play here. It really zooms in and from now onwards for every slide is going to pan. It's very subtle. Zooms in and further. And that's our last slide. So how did we achieve this? Let's be, let me get you to the first slide. Select this background and choose the format picture option. We get to the size and properties tab here. Go to size and you'll notice that the picture is just 41% zoomed in. The scale is 41%. Also notice the position here, okay? Just make a note, mental note over there, and we go to the next one. At this point of time, you see it's 100%. And just look at the position figures there. Again, for slide number three, this is where the panning is going to start, okay? So it's at 54%, and at slide number four as well, you'll notice we actually don't resize at that point of time, we only pan it. So it's again 54 and that's how it ha happens for the next three four, four slides okay but what's changing is the position now so 
So if I go scroll down and you can see the horizontal and vertical positions 0 0.13 and 2.57. Again the positions 2.57 remains the same but 0 0.13 goes to 2. And again the position changes to 3.43. This, this, these are minus positions because it's going leftwards. And again in the next slide, it's minus 6.43. So we are actually pushing it leftwards. Why is it minus 6.43? Because this is how it's pushing. Now if I go and push it further over there, it becomes 9.91, which I'm not going to do, but I just wanted to show that to you. And back in slide number, again in slide number 7, you'll notice that it's back to 100% now. It's not 54% anymore. To see how it moves from 54% to 100%, let's take a look again. 54% and 100%. Okay. Let's also go and see how the panning happens. At slide number 2, there's no panning. It actually just zooms in. And now, slide 3. It pans to 4, pans from 4 to 5, and pans from 5 to 6. So that's how we work with that. It's, it's really uh, amazing the type of stuff you can do with Morph. A lot of people uh, have some amazing effects done with Morph, but uh, it's also good to know that you can do something so subtle with Morph. And that's where it really shows what can, you can achieve using Morph. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy playing with the Morph transition and these backgrounds. Explore more concepts at InDesign.com InDesign. Make better presentations. Fast.